Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if I'm cut off, but I just wanted to come on here and show you a really quick um, everyday makeup eye look. Um, I've been really into um, filming makeup related videos. Um, I just think it's really therapeutic and something that I really enjoy doing. So um, starting off on my lips, I just put some lipstick on. So this is MAC. Um, Velvet, Velvet Teddy. It's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite lip, lip lipstick ever. It's what the shade looks like. It's been loved, so it kind of looks like a dark mauvey color, but I just think it looks really nice against my skin tone, and it goes with everything. Okay, so starting off, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I'm gonna be using this palette. This is my all-time favorite makeup palette I've ever used. Like, the colors in this palette are just so stunning. They're so beautiful. Um, they're so versatile, too. You can use the colors in here for, like, everyday look. Bright, I know this is a really popular bridal makeup look. Um, like, if you're getting married soon, definitely um, grab this. This is the first palette that I've ever bought in from Jeffree Star, and I love it. Okay, let me just show you what it looks like. Um, it's called Orgy, and the colors in here, I'm going to try not to show the mirror since it's like, oh, that works. So these are all the colors. Like, look at this. It's so stunning, um, and the names are really funny. <laughs> um, they're just so pretty, and they're all mattes. so I just think they, like, blend out really nicely, and usually my go-to is, like, um, a matte in like the corner and then a shimmery lid but recently I've just been loving like how the matte looks um, I'm not gonna go too crazy today just because I kind of am going for like a sun-kissed bronzy look but um, I always like playing with eyeshadow and seeing what what I can come up with so these are the three um, brushes I'm gonna be using today they're all from Morphe um, they're actually from the James Charles um, eyeshadow kit. So this is a Morphe M224 brush. It's just a nice like angled flat brush. And then this one I use for the blending of the crease. It's a Morphe M441 brush. And then this one I really like doing um, like eyeshadow liner, like winged eyeshadow liner a little bit. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood, but this is the perfect brush for it because it's so tiny. Um, don't mind my towel. <laughs> just hanging out there. It's a Morphe 2500 brush. And yeah, so I'm going to just use these three brushes. And starting off with the fluffy brush, I'm just going to go in to... And also there is a big mirror on the other side, which is awesome because I love when makeup palettes have... Um, big mirrors so you know what you're doing so i always start off with a cream shade all over the lid i think i'm gonna take um silk silk robe it's kind of like a pinkier color but just a little bit this palette is really um pigmented too like you can see how it just brightens up the lid a little bit and so i'm gonna take and then i'm gonna take I really like dark browns or like browns with my eyes since my eyes are green I feel like the brown just makes my eyes like really pop so I think I'm gonna take um I don't even know what this word is called but it's just this like mauve like kind of like lighter brown color and just a dab because I don't want to go too crazy but I'm just gonna start like by my crease and kind of blend it out and inwards. I heard someone say like if you do it like on your like brow bone, it kind of opens the eye a little bit. So I've been trying to focus my eyeshadow a little above like, cause I used to do it like right here, like right where my eye crease is. So I just bring it like up here now, like right here. And I feel like the key for doing a crease is blending because and you don't need a lot of product because um, a little goes a long way and sometimes I do little like circular motions toward the end of my eyelid because so 
sometimes it gets a little cakey on the end but you can see like how pretty it looks just really nice and natural looking and then I always like go in with more after I do the second eye just so um I don't do too much and you know not every eye is going to be the same so <laughs> I just try to like make it most even as possible but sometimes I go a little heavier on one eye than uh, rather than the other but you know it is what it is so I'm just gonna do this and I really like these brushes because they're so long I feel like you have like a good control of like the brush with your hands if that makes sense um yeah I really like the brushes too okay next I'm gonna take versatile it's a little darker it's right here it's a little darker than um that one and then I'm just gonna do a little bit and I'm gonna tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna put a little bit like circle it like a little tiny bit on like my outer outer corner see how it's kind of making like a v shape that's what i want just to make it a little darker and i'm kind of bringing it up just to make it a little darker in the outer corner i feel like when i do that it kind of opens up my eyes more and i really like how that looks this eye is always kind of harder than the other one because i don't have that much like control like my hand kind of feels a little awkward but I'm trying my best I've been doing eyeshadow for so many years like so I feel like I'm pretty decent at it but um I would like to learn more about it you know because I do enjoy doing my makeup um just like being a mom I just find it really therapeutic and I just feel like I like the process of getting ready and feeling put together. And it kind of wakes me up a little bit because, I don't know, like, I'm, like, setting the day off. But it's almost 4 p.m. and I'm just not <laughs> doing my makeup. But I'm going out to dinner with a friend tonight. So I'm just trying to get a little bit put together, but not too much. So this is what the eyes look like. They're just really pretty brown color. And I think that's all I'm gonna do with, with the shadows, but now I'm gonna take this flat brush and then I'm gonna go back into, um, I think I'm gonna go into this one. It's kind of like a banana yellow. Hopefully that's a good choice. But just a little bit, you can see how pigmented this palette is, but. I'm just going to do a little bit, kind of clean up the lid a little bit and make it, see the difference? Like make it a little bit more pop a little bit and okay. I'm going to take the same, I'm going to take I'm Shy, it's a really like pearly white and with the same brush I'm just going to put it underneath my brow bone. Just like that, okay? And now I'm gonna take this little tiny brush and I'm going to um, do a little wing. Um, I always usually do like a dark brown, like a darker brown, like the bottom shades, but I think I'm going to do Scorpio today. It's kind of like a grayish brown. I don't know why that's like looking really nice. So I just dab the little brush in tap it off and then I just focus really closely to my um, lash line and I tend to go in more with the product just because I want it to stand out a little bit but I don't want too much this shade is really nice because it's really um, subtle it's not like super you can barely see it but it just adds a little bit of um, dimension, you can kind of see it, but I'm doing it closer. Adds a little bit of dimension to the lash line. 
and sometimes I bring it all the way, but sometimes I just leave it in front of the outer corner because I feel like if I put it like the whole lid, it kind of like closes my eye, but then if I focus it on the outer corner, it kind of makes my eyes appear bigger, appear wider. So I'm just gonna do that. And then do the same thing for this eye. And I don't think I'm gonna do like a wing today. I did a wing yesterday, but I had like a lot more control of the brush, if that makes sense. Okay, and always so you can kind of tell, I can, I will show you up close in a minute, but I just try to like closest to the lash line as I can because um, it is like representing eyeliner or like I don't know. So that one I did a little bit too heavy, so I'm gonna go back in with my brush and the same banana color, just a little bit. Put it over. I might just do a little bit more. There's the sink. <laughs> and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, so if I bring you close, you can kind of see what I did. I added more um, banana shade to really open my eyes, and I did the little, you can kind of see, the black eyeliner and then the brown crease. But I didn't want to go too, too much because I did not want to take away from the glowiness that I have going on. Now I'm gonna grab a mascara that I'm almost out of. I have to get more because my bridal shower is May 15th and I feel like I'm running out of all my makeup at the same time. But I feel like I've been wearing, you're up on toilet paper right now, so I feel like I've been wearing more makeup than I usually do just because of work and um, you know, Okay, so I just take an eyelash curler and I already curled my eyelashes. I feel like if I curl my eyelashes right when I get up, it wakes me up. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel ooh, more put together. And sometimes I rip them all out. <laughs> and then sometimes I do, I take a little bit under my, under my lash line, but I'm not gonna do that today because I kind of want it to be opened, like a little bit more natural looking. So this is the mascara that is my favorite. If you're looking for a good like drugstore um, mascara, this one is by far my favorite. It's affordable and it lasts like, it lasts a really long time. It's the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. And I don't know, I just love the brush, it's super thin, and I usually use the, okay, so you can see how it's like, oh my gosh, you can see how it's dipped a little bit? I use the back side of it. I don't know why, but I feel like it kind of lifts my eyelashes up more, but look at that, like, it just makes them so nice, and they're not clumpy, they're just lengthening them. They're super long. Is there a difference? Super pretty. And I try to like focus more on my mascara like my outer corner just because I feel like it opens my eyes a little bit more and what I've been doing recently I've just been using like 
the excess of the mascara, like not dumping it back in on my bottom lashes, just a little bit because I feel like if you put a lot of mascara on your bottom eyelashes, it kind of makes them, I don't know, appear a little bit smaller, but that's what it looks like. And then I dropped it. Moving on to the next eye. And yeah, that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. My little man's about to come in here. But yeah, that's the final look. Super pretty, super easy. If you guys want to get your hands on the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star, definitely do it. It's a perfect palette for every day. And you guys have a good day. Bye.